Hi, welcome to today's STATA module with the Research Support Center at the Family Home and Social Sciences College at Brigham Young University. Today we'll be going over how to aggregate data by subgroups. So this is individual level data that we want to have aggregated by subgroups within that data set. To start, let's go ahead and open up a do file. Let's go ahead and give our file a title here. I'm going to call this um, this file explores the collapse command with frequency weights to aggregate individual level data to group levels. Let's go ahead and leave some space for notes if you have any. And let's start off our do file with the clear all command. This simply, if you've been using Stata prior, priorly or previously, will clear out all macros or data sets that are in Stata currently. And for today, let's change our directory. And I'm going to change mine to my downloads folder. You can change yours to whatever folder on your computer, whether on your local disk or on a thumb drive that you would like. What you need to do is you need to find the folder that you want by navigating through the various menus. For me, I'm just going to click on Downloads. Once you reach your destination where you'd like today's files to be saved, go ahead and right click on the address bar up here at the top, click Copy Address, and close that window. And in Stata, we can encapsulate that in double quotes. The double quotes allowing Stata to negate all spaces as an end of a command. Uh, as you can see, that's not really necessary in my file path, but for some of you it might be. Now, we are going to be using a data set from Stata's online repository. So to access that, we're going to use the web use command. And the data set is called college. Let's go ahead and save that data set on our local drives just so we can access it later on. Now let's go ahead and run those commands. Look at our output visually. So let's browse here in Stata. I'm going to use the shorthand of BR instead of typing out the entire browse. And you can see that we have data here for GPA, for hour, year, and number. Um, let's use the list command and let's list and do separate by the variable year and if we run that here we can see that Stata gives us our output with a horizontal separation line for each year. So now this is a little, for me this is a little easier to read than the browse window and I can see that we have four years worth of data that we have different hours or credit hours that were taken in each year and the individual's GPA for um, that year. Here we have four observations for year one, here we have three observations for year two, three for year three, and two for year four. What we would like to do is we would like to aggregate all of these by year, meaning that we'd like to get an average GPA, hours, and so forth by year. So to do that, we will be using the collapse command. So let's go ahead and specify collapse. And then we want the mean value of GPA and hours. We want the median value of, and we'll create variables here. Let's go ahead and call this one med GPA equal to GPA. And we're going to make another one called med or median hours and set it equal to hours. And now what we're going to do, since we have the number here, this variable number, what we want to do is we want to create a frequency weight. So we're going to use the left square bracket and start off and call our frequency weight FW and we're going to set it equal to number. We can go ahead and end that with a right square bracket and again, we want to collapse and do all of this by years. So let's go over this command again before we run it. 
we are going to collapse our data set by year. And when we collapse it, we want to have our GPA variable replaced with a mean of the GPA of each year. We want our hour variable here to be replaced with the average or mean hour in each year. And then we would like to create a few variables that are the medians. So we're going to create a median variable here of median GPA and set it equal to GPA. So that's going to take the median value and make a new variable called med GPA equal to the median value of GPA. And median hour here will be the same thing. Specifying the square brackets, we can do a frequency weight based off the number here. So obviously the number 9 being higher, this 2.8 and 28 hours in year 1 will receive a higher weight because of its higher number. Let's go ahead and run that command. As you can see, Stata has executed successfully. And let's go ahead and just type in list. And you can see now that we have four observations. Previously, we had 12 observations for four years. And since we collapsed by year, it makes sense that we have four unique observations for our four unique years. You can see here that our GPA variable has become the mean GPA. We have our hour variable has become the mean hour. And you have our med GPA and med hour variables representing the median values of GPA and hours worked. This is one way, of course, of doing it. And again, with the frequency weights, we've been able to add in the extra information that we've had in our number variable. I hope today's SATA module has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at fhssresearch at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing to you and wish you success with your SATA endeavors. Have a good day.